oldest star fan. What up, what up? Stoyan Frazier, human activator, leptokinetic healer. Uh, today I just want to talk about, uh, you know, one of the many things that is just kind of uh, word vomited and uh, just, uh, you know, just one of those things that are kind of just thrown out there by the spiritual community without any real uh, thought, I guess, kind of going into it. And that is going to be that we are all one. And that's not to say that that's incorrect. And while it's true that we all are one at the most quintessential level on a, you know, atomic and uh, subatomic level, uh, we're also unique and we're different. And uh, we would have never chose to incarnate into a fragmented aspect of uh, source or this energy if we didn't uh, wish to experience this form of uh, individualism. You know, of course we came here to have the knowing that we all are one on that most quintessential level that connects us all to one another. But we also came here to perform very specific tasks, we came here to complete specific missions. And while those missions all might uh, have the same end goal, which is the, uh, you know, expansion of consciousness or to reach this, uh, you know, higher level of, uh, you know, humanity or this ascension process, whatever you want to call it, we all have different ways of going about it. Not everybody's here to do the exact same thing. You don't look at a screwdriver and say, oh, I need you to hammer in this nail. You know, we all are different tools on this cosmic tool belt, and we all have different functions here to perform. And by no means am I um, promoting separation. Uh, I like to think that I'm promoting balance because I do recognize that we all are one, but I also recognize that we all are different at the same time, and that's the conundrum-like uh, nature of the universe, is that everything is and that everything is not. And when you get caught up in one aspect, you become polarized, and when you become polarized, you become unbalanced. One of the problems I see with the whole we're all one uh, ideology is that it breeds complacency. It breeds mediocrity, and uh, we're here to be the best versions of ourselves. you know? I see a lot of times when someone tries to be the best in their in their field, in their craft. You know, when I see someone try to be the best of themselves, I often see this met with a lot of resistance, a lot of, oh, you're in your ego because you think you're different or you're, you're better. Well, shit, please, be the best you. Aspire for greatness, not mediocrity. Then this also goes back to the whole, you know, you're a reflection of me. And uh, that has its own problems within itself too because from my own experience, you know, when you become at a certain level of awareness, when you, when you reach a certain level of awareness and you know yourself and someone tries to say that, oh, well, you're just a reflection of me. When someone does something that you don't like, or sometimes it's not a reflection. Sometimes it's not showing you what you are in that person. Sometimes it's showing you what you are not. The whole oneness ideology also breeds a lot of comparison to others because you think you are that person. You know, we all have our own mission. We all have our own specific things to do here. And if we're unable to identify our own purpose, then we're simply lost. Perpetuating that we're all one to such an extreme polarized degree takes away from you know, your unique eclectivity. It takes away from your individuality. It takes away from you as, as an individual point in space and time. And this, of course, leads to just more confusion because how can you do what you were sent here to do if you're just trying to do what everyone else is doing? You can't. And you just kind of get this um, snowball effect of nothing getting done. You know, we all have a... Um, we're all born with, you know, a specialty, you know, that we're all naturally gifted at. And if we shy away from that because others are telling us, hey, you're just like me, you're just like me, well, then it's going to be hard for you to uh, step into your power. It's going to be hard for you to um, recognize your own unique divinity and your own unique purpose and your own unique mission and what you're here to do. Because we're not all here to do the exact same thing. The whole oneness ideology is toxic in another way because it tells people when they are different than you that that's not right. 
Oneness creates contempt for others. It makes others who do not know themselves want to extinguish the light in others that are discovering their own unique purpose. A perfect example is, uh, you know, people will say, oh, well, we're all healers. And while that may be true, that's not everybody's purpose. That may not be everybody's destiny to work with assisting others in that way. You know, we need lots of people that naturally enjoy cleaning up the environment. You know, we need uh, uh, people that enjoy feeding other people. We need other people that enjoy connecting other people to one another. You know, there's just so many different things out there that we really need, um, and not just one thing. There is a multifaceted uh, uh, reality out there that requires our attention and it requires us to identify our unique purpose in order to create the change that we really wish to see on this planet. So that's what I got for y'all today. If y'all are enjoying these, uh, you know, uh, informational films on New Age Deception, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I know it's been a while, guys. Been kind of uh, just juggling so many different projects, and uh, you know, with moving and stuff like that. It's my first time. I finally sat down and felt the inspiration to kind of touch on a topic. Um, so yeah, you know, I appreciate you guys and. Um, so thankful for you know you guys viewing this because what am i without y'all you know so as always wholeness appreciate your presence